What's going on everybody? Welcome back here to another weather update video. I hope you guys are having a great day out there. Happy May 3rd, my friends. Hope everyone is doing well. We've got ourselves quite an active period coming up here over the next couple of days, but we're going to get into that here in the future video. But let's just go ahead and talk about the current radar view right now. We'll get into everything else here in the future. So right now we do got ourselves a couple storms kicking off out there towards, you know, the south, out there by like Louisiana, portions out there by Texas. Now, later on today, as we are going to be determining, um, we do have ourselves a level three enhanced risk yet again for, your, for today uh, for some of the similar areas out there in Texas. We'll be going over that here in a minute. Uh, we have ourselves a little bit of rain out there towards the Ohio. Valley, just a little bit of something, nothing too, too crazy going on, pretty dry across the northeast, portions of the south, pretty dry as well, got a couple, you know, scattered showers out across some areas here. Uh, the southwest here, looking pretty good, now we do have ourselves another little system getting ready to roll its way into the northwest here, driving a bit of precipitation out towards like Washington and Oregon, but other than that, that is your current radar view as of right now. Moving on over here into the Storm Prediction Center's outlook here for today being May 3rd. We got ourselves, like I was mentioning, an enhanced risk out there towards Texas. Kind of similar areas to what we were seeing here for yesterday. Now, this does include areas out there by Abilene. San Angelo is in that level 3 threat overall. We got that level 2 threat extending all the way down there towards like Brady. We have Brownwood, Stephenville, Texas. Um, you can kind of see it's, it's a relatively local slight risk out there towards like central and western portions of uh, Texas overall. Now, we do got ourselves another slight risk across portions of western Kansas, that level 2 out of 5 severe weather threat. Also a little sliver going into southern Nebraska, and a little sliver even in eastern Colorado overall. Now, tornado probability, we do got ourselves a 5% chance for tornadoes, which is a decent tornado threat, but like I said, don't you worry about it too much. Like I said, don't let it don't let it worry you. Um, it is a chance for some tornadoes, and we have the potential of seeing a couple tornadoes, you know, near the Abilene, Snyder, Lubbock area in here in Texas. But like I said, the odds of you specifically getting a tornado is very low. It's something you shouldn't brush off so obviously be weather aware and watch this throughout the day but like i said it's definitely something you don't want to you know freak yourself out over but but anyways but yeah so we also have ourselves that two percent risk going all the way up into southern nebraska so if you're in the dark green and the brown there is a chance that we could get a couple isolated tornadoes in the region there so we'll have to watch out for that now whenever it comes to damaging winds we got ourselves uh two areas of 15 percent chance so once again across the two slight risk we were talking about now damaging winds will be ranging between 60 and 70 mile per hour wind gusts here for today we're not expected to see anything over 70 plus you know, like I said, expected to see that because Mother Nature can throw us some curveball sometimes, but we're expecting the majority of the wind gusts to be between 60 and 70 miles per hour overall. And uh, whenever it comes to it, we got ourselves that 15% chance of damaging winds across the yellow, 5% chance across the brown. Now, whenever it comes to hail, that's kind of our main driver for today. We got ourselves a hatch risk for hail uh, down there towards Texas, and that's actually introducing a 30% chance for hail. So basically, nearly a one in three shot of you getting hail within 25 miles of you if you are in the red here. Now, the thing is, is that this is a significant threat or a hatch risk, which is basically saying that we have the potential of seeing hail two inches in diameter and larger. So we are definitely going to see the potential for some very large hail out there for today across portions of kind of central, west central portions here of Texas that we'll need to walk out there for that. Now, 15% chance across the yellow here. So basically, like I was explaining, if you're not in the hat, you know, if you're not in the hatch risk there, we do have ourselves a potential for one to two inches in diameter regarding hailstones, 15% chance across the yellow, 5% chance across the brown, but like I was saying, yeah, the red is a 30% chance, which is a pretty good shot for hail. Now, that is today's outlook as of right now. Uh, we'll get into other further outlooks here in the future part of the video. So whenever it comes to the timing here regarding these storms here, we are expecting those storms to kind of fire off right around 4 o'clock Eastern or 3 Central for the local people out there. As you can see here, right around 4 p.m. Eastern, we are going to start to see some cell potential developing uh, out there towards, you know, kind of the western central side here of Texas. This will gradually increase as we work way over here into the evening right here, right around like 7 o'clock Central time. You know, kind of just a bunch of scattered severe potential uh, regarding severe weather and all that stuff. Once again, hail, damaging winds and tornadoes cannot be rolled out across the region so we'll have to watch out there for that now this will continue into the evening here and it is expected to kind of die off here um here for tomorrow morning um but yeah this will kind of be like an afternoon evening event here overall now for up in the north you guys can actually see here now we're going to have ourselves a bit of storms out there towards nebraska and kansas in that other slight risk that we were talking about um this one's going to be a little bit later from what it looks like you know kind of those storms developing you know maybe a couple hours after the main ones here up in texas so this is going to be more of a later threat for for like Nebraska and Kansas overall. So, you know, we might have to watch out there for some severe weather overnight in some of those regions. 
So hopping over here now into the extended range forecast regarding what we could see for later on down the week. Now, things are expected to be very active over the next several days as we are going to be mentioning here so this is the gfs model the main you know the main long range model that we typically use on this channel there's other models we'll look at as well like the european model overall um, but yeah regarding the gfs here we have ourselves another big trough a big dip in the jet stream you guys can see working its way there towards the central plains uh basically here for late monday now, Monday, it definitely looks like we are going to have ourselves a big severe weather event kicking off, you know, because like I said, we have this trough rolling through. This is going to be amplifying those winds across the atmosphere, which will really get those storms organized and, you know, potentially really severe. Um, so we'll definitely need to be watching out there for that. So, yeah, if we play this in motion, you can actually see that trough. Uh, that's actually the system in the beginning of the video we were talking about, you know, that, that system rolling through like Washington and Oregon. Uh, yeah, this is going to be the system that's going to be driving some severe weather coming up here for uh, pretty much Monday, you know, possibly carrying into Tuesday um, overall. So, like I said, it, it's definitely a pretty nasty signal that we are seeing here overall. Um, like I was saying, we're going to take a look here at the European model as well. You know, obviously, just to kind of, you know, show you guys the difference between the models. But honestly, yeah, there's really not much of a difference, as you guys can see. Uh, both the models do have that... Uh, that trough rolling its through the er, through, rolling its way through the west, like I was saying, um, and out there eventually towards the uh, the central plains here for right around like Monday into Tuesday. So both models are signaling this, so there is definitely a lot of agreement. And we're gonna take a look at the SPC's outlook here because we do got ourselves a pretty big threat. So here is the threat here for Monday. We do got ourselves a 30% risk already issued by the Storm Prediction Center. This is like the highest risk that they can issue this far out. So we are definitely getting into some heat here regarding Monday. Now we do have ourselves the greatest threat here for Monday uh, as of right now being across portions like North Central Oklahoma out there by, you know, like Ponca City, uh, Cherokee, some of those regions there. Uh, this is going to be going its way up here through Kansas by Wichita included. We have like Great Bend, Clay Center, uh, Concordia, you know, some of those regions throughout the central side here of the state will be included in the greatest concern overall now this will also work its way down there towards a little sliver in nebraska towards like hastings blue hill um, you know red cloud those regions there uh, inside of the greatest threat here regarding severe weather now what this basically means is that we have ourselves a 30 percent chance here of seeing severe weather within 25 miles of your location so say if you live in wichita there's a 30 percent chance that you could see severe weather within 25 miles of you so it's a pretty decent threat overall now the other other areas here is in a 15% risk, which is half the risk of the orange here, which is still a decent shot for severe weather. And you can really see how it did central a lot, or sorry, uh, kind of highlight the central and southern portions here of the country by the plains, uh, which we do have ourselves that big 15% risk up there towards like northern Texas, uh, going through Oklahoma. I mean, shoot, even out there towards like western Missouri, towards Kansas City is also in the risk. Southwestern Iowa going all the way up into northern Nebraska here. So, you know, if you guys are in any shades of color here, you know, across the yellow especially the orange you guys are at risk for severe weather here coming up for monday now, the Storm Prediction Center does have ourselves a risk for Tuesday as well. So, as this cold front advances eastward, this will drive the severe weather more to the east as well. Storm Prediction Center has another day worth of risk here for Tuesday. Uh, this time, actually getting its way pretty close to the Ohio Valley out there towards, like, Indiana. Uh, portions of western Kentucky in the risk here. All of Illinois is at risk here. Southern portions of Wisconsin, eastern Iowa, Missouri, uh, Arkansas even is in the risk here for Tuesday uh, with that 15% chance of severe weather. So once again, we're going to have to watch out for Monday and Tuesday whenever it comes to the system. Now, I wish we were done, my friends, but we have ourselves another risk here for Wednesday. This one actually drawing a little bit more back to the southwest here. So once again, portions out there by Texas, including Dallas, will be at risk here for Wednesday. Uh, also portions out there by like eastern Oklahoma, a lot of Arkansas, northwestern Louisiana, uh, portions out there by central and southern Missouri, even southeastern Kansas, and I don't know if I already mentioned, but eastern Oklahoma will be in that risk here for Wednesday. So as you can see, we are coming up on a very active time period over the next several days with that big system rolling through so we're going to definitely need to be weather aware we will be doing a lot of updates for you guys and covering this so if you guys haven't already consider subscribing and leaving a like it'll be greatly appreciated Okay, so we're going to take a look here more in depth with the models. We'll take a look at the GFS model here overall. We're going to take a look and see the ingredients that will be in place for this next upcoming system here, uh, here for Monday, 
through Tuesday through Wednesday. So we got ourselves, like I said, a lot of active weather coming up here. So uh, whenever it comes to the GFS here, we are going to have ourselves a lot of instability here for basically late Monday here, kicking up across the central and southern plains, Midwest there, getting a lot of instability. I mean, shoot, maybe even some instability could spark a few storms, unknown if it's going to be severe or not, out there by like the Ohio Valley towards Kentucky or whatever. Just depends on the models too and if it keeps up with this. But yeah, here for Monday, definitely have a lot of instability. Now this will continue to work its way up here into Tuesday. Day. And you can actually see here for late Tuesday, kind of the afternoon, evening, uh, we have ourselves once again widespread instability, this time going really far up into the Ohio Valley, uh, portions here of the deep south as well with a lot of instability. So that's definitely a little concerning. Now, uh, if you're not catching up to what we're looking at right here, this is the instability, basically the thunderstorm fuel. So the higher the values there is, the more energy there is in the atmosphere, which could be more explosive storms. But yeah, we have ourselves Overall, a lot of instability here for Tuesday. Now, we're going to way back here into Wednesday. Um, you know, once again, you can see here for Wednesday, uh, <laughs> like, where does it even end? More widespread instability that's going to be available towards the Midwest. I mean, portions, you know, of the, the east, maybe towards the Mid-Atlantic. Um, you know, the Ohio Valley could see some storms. Uh, the wind shear is going to be a little weaker out there, so it's probably not going to be as organized severe weather as it is going to be out there towards, like, the Midwest and the Plains there. But once again, like I said, yeah, for Wednesday, going back into Tuesday, going back into Monday, uh, it's just going to be very active. And, of course, here for today, we got ourselves, you know, kind of that localized instability throughout the Central and Southern Plains, which has given us that severe weather threat here for today. But, yeah, overall, it's definitely looking a little interesting. Now, the lower-level wind shear, which is very important for tornadoes, uh, with that trough rolling through here for basically late Monday, uh, we do have ourselves a decent jet here. We're talking basically 40, maybe upwards of 50 knots or more, depends on how the models trend here, of uh, lower-level winds, which is very, very important here for tornadoes, uh, basically just those lower-level winds. Now, as we work our way over here into basically late Tuesday as well, um, you know, it's not going to be as strong of a jet stream, you know, actually a little bit weaker overall. So I think when it comes to Monday, I think that's going to be our greatest tornado potential here from what I'm seeing as of right now. Um, and of course, you're working our way over here until Wednesday. Uh, we could have ourselves, you know, some more tornadic activity out there, possibly by the Midwest and stuff like that, just given the winds. But yeah, I think Monday by far is going to be the greatest uh, tornado potential out there by like the Central Plains overall. So we'll have to watch out for that. Now, whenever it comes to, you know, like the moisture and, and our dew points and stuff like that, we're looking for dew points 60 plus Fahrenheit usually, uh, in which, you know, this is really not shy of anything. I mean, we are seeing ourselves lots and lots of moisture coming up here from the Gulf. All that advecting warm air is just driving its way up here into the country, which just, you know, really flooding the place here with a lot of moisture and a lot of water vapor and just, you know, overall a lot of fuel potential here for these storms here overall. So you can see here for Wednesday, I mean, we're having 70 degree dew points going all the way up there towards the Ohio Valley, which that is very high on the dew point scale uh, here overall. But anyways, my friends, well, that's going to go ahead and wrap up this video. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure you leave a like and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It'd be greatly appreciated. Uh, we'll be live later on today here for some severe weather coverage with that enhanced risk that we do have for mostly hail, damaging winds, and tornadoes. So we'll definitely be there for you guys. But uh, alrighty, y'all. Thanks for joining. Hope y'all have a wonderful rest of your day, and we'll catch y'all in the next one.